Hello everyone. This is another foreground building that I've just completed for the uh, Wild West Games of Dead Man's Hand. It's um, the dentistry and attorney at law and it's a really nice little model. Um, I purchased six in a batch and this is the uh, the last of those six, um, but I'm certainly going to acquire some more now. Um, probably in a couple of weeks' time when I've my funds have been replenished. Um, give you a little spin of it again. In, in terms of um, the instructions for it, they they were a lot clearer uh, with this building. That, that I only spotted one error in terms of mislabeling and that was uh, a blatantly obvious error because the two parts um, that they had labelled or the, or the one part that they had labelled incorrectly clearly didn't fit um, the part that they had labelled correctly so that was easy to, to rectify um, and there's, a, yeah, there's actually eight pages of instructions um, it's meant to be a level six according to the box which was higher than the livery station which was level five but um, inside when you open it up on these instructions this is a level four so I would put it at level four because it was a similar kind of um, you know difficulty to some of those main street buildings that I showed you previously um, this one has got a balcony. Um, the downstairs is the dentistry, the upstairs is the attorney at law. And the upstairs you can actually, all the roofs, the roofs and the stories are removable as, as on the previous buildings. But with this one you can turn the upper story around so the balcony is at the front and then the building itself overhangs um the lower story but i i find although i think i would prefer to have the balcony at the front i find it doesn't look quite right somehow to my eye with the building kind of you know there's no reason to have an overhang um you just have a sort of slightly smaller upstairs area i think if you were constructing a building so i prefer to keep it like this i think um yeah i won't i won't show you the inside because it's just basically two rooms per story i haven't put any furniture or in anything like that in them yet um the only mistake that i may have made i still haven't got my head around this to work out whether i did make a mistake or not um but there are two uh, parts to that kind of upright and railing side railing and there are two parts to this um, upright and railing on this side and you have to place them so that the there are notches on facing that way to accommodate this sort of balustrade now if you notice um, this surface here and the corresponding outside surface on the other side are lacking the detail. So in other words, they are the under surface of the MDF. And um, the labelling is, um, I'll show you there, I don't know if you can see that. But this is the labelling for the uh, corresponding parts. So there are four parts in all. Um, and they're labelled I1, I2 and I1 and I2. So when you take them off the sprue, it's not clear whether you have to glue I1, a, a particular I1 to a particular I2 in order for the notch to be on the inside to accommodate the balustrade, but for the detailing to be on the outside rather than on the inside there's there's slightly more detail on this 
inner side such as um, holes to accommodate nails and the kind of this patterning um, so I, I just can't work out I've been trying to, it was when, by the time I glued them together it was far too late to uh, unglue them and then you know attach them to the other side and I didn't know whether it was going to be worthwhile or not um, but there is another building that I've got my eye on to purchase that does have a balcony like this so I think I'll take more care with that one to see if that is actually what happens but from the instructions you would imagine that it didn't matter and by the time you realize it does matter it's too late to um, do anything about it so if you're going to put this model together I would recommend that you um, you know take a little bit of caution at that point so once again the um, the little posters and things are, are really kind of nice and a um, lot of character in them so the um, this is the entrance up the steps into the attorney at law and it's got to uh, check your guns at the door um, had it been the dentist it would have been check your gums at the door uh, but as it is the dentist has got uh, teeth pulled and it's got um, a sort of molo or something with the roots with a, a notice on that so it's a sort of tooth shaped notice dental room um, and then the signs at the front give you a little bit more um, character painless dentistry um, gas and other miracles extractions dentures so in other words he's got nitrous oxide or something not quite sure how in those days how they would have maybe they produced it on site right I don't know whether they had pressurized gas canisters and things in those days maybe they mixed chemicals up and produced nitrous oxide which they then siphoned off to um, anaesthetise the patient, I don't know. And the upstairs is attorney at law, wills, uh, deeds, disputes, notary, bondsman, um, cons consultations from 45 cents. Uh, I can't read the last one. Uh, my eyesight isn't good enough to to read it. Something's reviewed. Patents reviewed? Might be. Looks like. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. And um, nice sort of little shutters on the windows as well, which um, you didn't have on the other one. On the other ones I've done. Give it a little bit more colour and so on. So there you go, anyway, that's it. Enough waffling. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm out of buildings to do, but I might, um, I'm still painting up figures and I've got about three or four other projects on the go as well. So I am, I am still busy, but I might, um, I might take out some of my, uh, either the furniture that I bought to paint that up or um, I've got a couple of wagons and things. I might do those first because they can be in the street operating as cover and so on. So that's it. The foreground, dentistry and attorney at law. Thanks for watching.